Look at this big thing. Now that's a cake. Sorry. There's an old curiosity shop. Every once in a while I go by there. For the fond recollections that lie there. In that old curiosity shop. Hello everyone and welcome back to the 1925 bungalow, I'm Scott. Today, it's a thrift haul, but I don't normally do this. This is, I don't normally show you things that aren't already either listed in my eBay store or coming up in a live sale, but that's exactly what I'm doing today. None of this stuff is listed. Most of it has just come from the thrift shops in the last day or two. And I haven't really decided what's going on eBay and what's going to go into a live sale and that kind of thing. But I just want to show you what I found before I break any of it. That's a big refrigerator dish, boy. You could get a lot of leftover macaroni and cheese in there. Now, it has that yellow tint to it and that old-fashioned knob, which takes us back to the 30s and the 40s. Um, and when I look at the bottom of it, we see, yeah, that's right. You're going to recognize the W for Westinghouse. And often when you bought, um, refrigerators and that kind of thing, you would get these for free. I don't know it, but maybe Glass Bake made these for Westinghouse rather than Pyrex. The glass maker isn't noted, but... You guys know how the pebbly bottom always turns up on glass bake? Yeah, so I don't know for certain, but my guess is, is that glass bake uh, McKee made these for Westinghouse. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, let me get it up here. Some of the jewelry is listed, not all of it, but some of it. And I told you a couple days ago, so there's only like three days left uh, in the auctions. So these pieces are listed. This is the signed Trafari. We've talked about that so many times. And that's 15 inches and you can see dozens of pictures of it, probably about 20 pictures of it uh, on my, in my eBay store. But hurry up, there's only like three days left. And then there's this lovely nex necklace right here, which is unsigned, and it is also on uh, in the eBay store right now. This, easy, can't argue, it's marked Trafari with a crown on it. This piece, thank you everyone who watched the jewelry video and who made comments. I appreciate it. But I have to tell you, probably I got... 10 different opinions on this and well somebody has to be wrong and somebody has to be right so i don't know what do i do when like 10 people tell me 10 different things i guess i just put it online and say caveat emptor let the buyer beware okay so i took lots of pictures of it i know i'm not holding it still because you can go on the ebay's site and look at it. Uh, described it as best I could and well that's it. You guys decide. This will come up later probably next Christmas anchor hocking. Ooh what's that? Ooh I gotta get that dirt off of there. Uh, ruby red vase. No big deal but I usually see the tall ones not that little short one as much. I love this EAPG piece I guess it's a little vase. I don't believe it ever had a lid. Look at that little etching uh, that, that are, are um, uh, not etching. Uh, is that acid etched maybe? Or maybe it's done, no, I think it's actually done. It looks like it's done with a uh, some type of a, a tool would cut that in there. That's really pretty on both sides, yeah? So I haven't looked in my pattern glass book to see what that is, but I love it. I found two more baskets, two more big baskets. And uh, someone said that 
in the comments that they cringed when I picked it up by its handle. I don't want anybody to cringe, but I think it's okay to pick up these uh, by the handle. Uh, handle won't fall off. In this case, this is molded. It's not applied. So this is all done in a mold. And this handle is, once again, this is all one piece of glass. And even if it were applied, you could still pick this up by the handle. It's really um, no need to be upset about me picking it up. Now, you might get upset with me swinging it. <laughs> I'm not going to break it. Uh, two big baskets. We're going to see these later. Uh, and this one is etched. And that one's pressed. Yeah. And I have a bunch of little baskets as well. We're going to do something in the springtime with those. Now, we'll save that guy till the end. A pottery watering can. It says USA on the bottom. I haven't had a chance to do anything, so it's, who knows? I've got all the books, Shawnee, McCoy's, Hager. I got everything over there. Got to look it up. Not sure about that. This um, is unmarked, but look at the fishes. I am about 99% sure this is from the 1930s, and it's a piece of McCoy from the Brush McCoy period. Um, don't worry that it's not marked. Most of it wasn't. But I believe that this fish motif on this picture, and certainly that colored glaze, I'm really getting a McCoy feel on that. All of this McCoy came from one thrift shop. I think somebody donated their McCoy collection because I got this at the same time. There's a nice piece of McCoy in really good condition. This planter. Yeah, now that one is a signed piece. And I'm gonna be selling this stuff eventually. Another piece of McCoy, a teapot. That form shows up I think in the late 30s or early 40s, probably late 30s, and they did several different glazes on it. I like this side. That side has got flowers on it. That's pretty for springtime. I kind of like it that way better, um, but it's a signed McCoy teapot in excellent condition. A piece of Hall, H-U-L-L. -L. We all recognize Hall, I think. From the 40s. And Hall is always very well marked. There's no damage on this. Jeeves and Wooster, look out. A silent butler or crumb, crumb catcher in chrome. Very, very uh, jazz age. Yeah, so scrape your crumbs up. And this one is marked Farber Brothers, Farber Ware. So this is was made in Brooklyn with hammered, it's, it's hammered. Now, Vinnie gave me one made of aluminum. I'm keeping that one. This one I'm, I'm going to sell. I have a whole set. I'm going to have to do a nifty 50s show. I have the entire snack set, six of these. Random Thread Pink Spaghetti Hazel Atlas 1950s. Wow. So you snack set. Okay, so we have the tumbler. I'll put that down for a minute. You've got the plates with the indentation here, right? So you may either, if you're serving dessert, you have your coffee cup that sits there and everybody sits in the living room and gossips while they're eating their coconut cream pie and having coffee. Or maybe you're having a little luncheon and so you're serving iced tea. And so you would then give everyone a tumbler instead. But isn't it wonderful? I've got six of them, almost sparkling new. No chips or cracks on any of this. Wow, a set of six. Now, snack sets, that's sometimes a tough sell. But so 50s, just such of the period, somebody is going to love these. And I just, and I know they will. There's three of them. Oh. And there's three of them. Let me put these down. What are they? Well, these are glass bake. So made by McKee. Easy because they're marked glass bake. 
but even if they weren't, these are the little princess, and I think I'll put an advertisement right there. Well, at least you can see the sticker, yeah? So you can see there, that's what would have come on these. And these can serve uh, two purposes. They can be little individual bunt cakes, but they're also jello molds. Yeah, believe it or not, glass jello molds. Yeah. So six of these little dudes. I like them a lot. That's a cereal bowl. <laughs> mm-hmm. An eight inch, it's a cereal bowl for me. Anyway, do you guys recognize what you do? Melmac Boontonware, that's right. This is um, dinnerware and it's Boonton Holding Molding Company of Boonton, New Jersey. And uh, people really like the confetti sort of, I think they call it confetti or speckled colors or, yeah, I just got that one bowl and it's embossed marked under there, it's kind of hard to see. That might be, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I guess I told you I was gonna sell it. Look at this little box. Oh my goodness. I'll be very quiet and I'll hold it still. Look at that. I hope it's not blurry. Look at that little hook. Look at the top. I'm gonna turn it all around. I'm gonna do a Bonnie Tyler and turn around. You get that? Uh, reference to the 80s. Boy, that's a early 20th century sticker there. That's probably right around 1900 or so. I'll let you read it. But there's a better, there's a better surprise when we open up the lid on this little wooden box. When we open up the lid, wonderful. We get the whole factory. Now, once again, I have not even gone on the internet to look anything up, but how about that? And there's the little box. Somebody is going to just do backflips over that. I know it. So I had to buy that. Can you have enough green mixing bowls from the thirties? No, you can't. You got to buy them every time. Now, normally I see the Jeanette in pink or green with the sunflower. This, this swirl pattern, I don't see as much, but there it is, three-footed green cake stand. Wonderful. Look at this big thing. Now that's a cake. Look, it's two inches larger in diameter with a big old snowflake on it. I think I might have had this one before is, um, that's 10 inches. So this one is, I think 13. <laughs> that's a big cake. And again, we're back in the depression era. A beautiful center bowl in um, amber. And it's also got an etching around it. See, we'll put this away for until the autumn season. A nice big one, you know, up on a, up on a, uh, with a base there. Nice big one, center bowl. Love me some fruit cake. That's a neat tin. Now that's gonna go back at least to the 50s. I'm actually getting a 40s vibe on it. Just a hunch. When fruitcake came in these tins, wonderful cobalt blue color. And I don't know what CB Capital is. Haven't had a chance. I guess maybe it's a baking company. But look there, we've got raisins and lemon, orange cherry, nuts, pineapple. I don't know what that thing is. Is that a cantaloupe back there? Ooh. You don't put cantaloupe in fruit cake. Well, I don't know, maybe you do. Sorry. Oh my word. Can you believe I paid $24.99 at a Goodwill for this massive Bohemian 
glass vase. This is cut, not cut to clear, but cut to emerald. We're going to take a closer look at it. Uh, Mosier, Czechoslovakian, well, Czech Republic, not Mosser, Mosier glass, all hand painted. I think Mosier is still making glass. I think they're still in business. Oh, there's a little bit of sticky price tag left on it. So it's green glass, right, cased and then cut away so the green comes through. And the all of these are hand painted on here, these flowers, it's not a decal, see, no marking, but no doubt. Now, uh, made in the Czech Republic, made in the Czech Republic, well, Czech Republic now, Czechoslovakia, what, 1918? And prior to that, you know, Bohemia. So you'll see it called all different things. Uh, no damage on it. It's just beautiful. I paid $24.99. Now, um, the funny thing is, and I said this last night in my when I was doing my live, um, part of the danger of just going online and looking for things uh, is that you can, there's one of these right now on, I forget, Etsy, eBay, somewhere, and they're asking $3,000 for it, 2,900 and blah, 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 blah. Is this a $3,000 piece of glass? No. <laughs> um, so anybody can ask any price they want, and if they get $3,000, then good for them. Uh, what am I going to do with it? I'm probably going to sell it, but it's not a $3,000 $3, piece of glass. So when, when you, when you find that, and this happens a lot, people will say, you know, friends and family members and others who know that I do this, um, oh, you know, I've got, I've got thus and such at home. And did you see what it's going for on eBay? And I always say, it's not going anywhere. It's sitting there. Remember talking price and walking price. <laughs> so uh, just because there's one of these listed on eBay for close to $3,000. Anyway, I think a lot of you, you know, probably know that, but sometimes you'll go into a store and they will have a printout, right? I've seen this. Have you seen this where like they see this on the internet and they print it out? Look on eBay, it says $3,000. And then they put the eBay printout like in front of it. Have you guys ever seen that? I have. And oh, if they're asking $3,000 on eBay, then I'm going to ask $3,000 for mine. And say, like, mm, that's kind of not really how it works. But um, it's just beautiful. And wow, should I go out there and put it on that mahogany plant stand? Well, I would have to put something fake in it. What would I put in there? Ostrich plumes. It's a little too fancy for me, but uh, I think somebody's going to enjoy this. Could you say no for $25? Now, let me put the thing on the floor. Okay, get down there. It's on the floor. That's it. 20 minutes. Thank you for watching this thrift haul. And don't forget... If you're interested in either one of these pieces of jewelry, you've only got a couple days left. These are in my eBay store right now up for auction. I'll see you next Monday night mm -hmm, for uh, my second thrift, my second live sale in the month of uh, February. And then I'm going to be getting a lot of things put in the eBay store. I've got wallpaper trim to hang up.
I've got stuff to do, and I'm going to invite you to join in with me as I do various projects around here. Have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday. Have tacos, I guess. Mm -hmm, Taco Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching. Wait for the cat. And so long for now. Now how do I get up from here without stepping on something? <laughs>